Hello, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Few weapons in the world are as impressive and as potentially devastating as railguns. A railgun is a device that uses electromagnetic force to fire projectiles at high speeds. The projectile doesn't have any explosives in it. Instead, it relies on high speed and momentum to do damage. The destructive power of these projectiles depends on how fast they are moving and how heavy they are. Because a railgun projectile can move quickly, its destructive force is greater than a similar-sized traditional gun projectile. The U.S. Navy Dahlgren Division frequently demonstrated an 8-megajoule railgun, shooting 7.1-pound projectiles as a prototype of a 64-megajoule weapon that was intended for warships. Later, the energy for firing the railgun was pushed up even further. On January 31, 2008, the U.S. Navy tested a railgun that shot a projectile at a speed of 8,270 feet per second and 10.64 megajoules. Railguns have fired projectiles up to ranges of 100 miles. Care is taken to fire the railgun out to the ocean to prevent possible damage to infrastructure or loss of life. Unfortunately, railgun development has been halted by the United States for now in favor of projects such as longer-range missiles and even laser weapons. In 2020, a Navy ship used its laser weapon system to shoot down a flying drone nearby. This is part of the Navy's plan to deal with air threats at sea. The Navy said in a news release that the amphibious transport dock ship Portland successfully disabled an unmanned aerial vehicle while it was in the air during a test at sea on May 16. The laser on the Portland can be used to target not only drones, but also small boats. Time will tell exactly how big the solid state laser will become and how effective it will be. For now, we can still rely on weapons like the Tomahawk cruise missile. The Tomahawk land attack missile is a long-range, all-weather, jet-powered, subsonic cruise missile that is mostly used by the U.S. Navy and the Royal Navy to attack land from ships and submarines. There are at least seven variants of this tried and tested missile. The missile then utilizes what is called TURCOM, or terrain contour matching, to find its way to the target. The route data is loaded onto the missile before it is launched. The tomahawk then simply follows the terrain forms it is supposed to, to reach its target. Tomahawks can fly up to ranges of 1,000 miles or more, depending on the variant. Unlike railguns and lasers, missiles have to be reloaded. The process of loading missiles onto U.S. Navy ships has to be completed manually, that is, at the docks. Reloading at sea is a much more dangerous undertaking because of the weight of some missiles and the rolling motion of ships underway.
the vertical launch system and personnel could be damaged or injured. Missiles like the standard missile weigh in excess of 1,000 pounds. In the past, U.S. Navy ships were armed with cranes, but these were removed due to the dangers of rearming at sea. With possible hostilities with Russia and China looming, rearming at sea seems more likely. U.S. Navy torpedoes are another offensive weapon enemy ships have to contend with. Surface vessels are commonly armed with Torpex torpedoes that are 50% more deadly than TNT. Torpex is an acronym for Torpedo Explosives. Surface vessels are armed with the Mark 54 torpedo. The Mark 54 can destroy submarines at a range of 10,000 yards. For land attacks, the U.S. Navy can rely on the Naval Strike Missile. This new Norwegian missile is used against ships and land targets. It has a range of up to 345 miles, depending on its attack profile. Another innovative way to attack land targets is to use the HIMARS system from ships. The M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System is a light multiple rocket launcher made for the U.S. Army in the late 1990s. It is mounted on a standard U.S. Army M1140 truck frame. The M142 has one pod that can hold either six GMLRS rockets, two PRSM missiles, or one ATACMS missile. It can fire all of the weapons in the Multiple Launch Rocket System family, or MFOM. Used from ships, the system gives the U.S. greater land attack versatility. The defense setup of U.S. Navy ships and aircraft carriers is carried out in successive layers. The final defense consists of the phalanx Sea Whiz. The phalanx uses radar to target enemy missiles with a six-barrel, 20-millimeter Gatling cannon that fires 3,000 to 4,500 rounds per minute over ranges of one to five miles. The range is comparatively short for modern anti-ship missiles, but the system is fast and accurate. Another level of defense that aircraft carriers have is the aircraft they carry. As soon as enemy weapons target them, they scramble F-18s or F-35s and attack the enemy facilities or ships. These aircraft are armed by ordnance men, distinctive in their red outfits. Ordnance men use various tools and vehicles to help them attach heavy weapons to aircraft like F-18s or F-35s. F-A-18s are being replaced by F-35 Lightning, but they still have a role to play. As navies worldwide keep aiming to improve the weapon systems of their battleships and aircraft, these weapons are becoming deadlier by the day. And with such frightful improvements, 
the casual onlooker can only wish that these weapons would never truly be used for their intended purpose. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.